March 24th, 2012. The Cardinals are tied with the Mets 6-6 in the ninth inning of a spring training game. Since it's spring training and the results don't really matter, it's more about getting reps in for players and prospects prior to the season. The Cardinals do what a lot of teams do and start subbing in some of their minor league players in the later portion of the game so they can get some big league experience. Usually these players are in the media guide so the announcers know who they are, but today is a little different as the Cardinals bring in a pinch runner that doesn't appear anywhere in the announcer's notes. Cardinals have some rotating high-numbered jerseys, which they'll give the 90 numbers to their minor leaguers that show up for a day. They're still trying to identify the potential go-ahead run third base. I know he's number 91. And on our roster, we do not have a 91. Jose is introducing himself. Have you seen a 91 anywhere? I have not. Yeah, third base. I mean, down to third. How about on this paper? I had Okay. <laughs> I knew what you meant. <laughs> Finally, somewhat in jest, the announcers give the player a name. There he is. We officially have his name. That is Joe Minor League Guy. Number 91. Had a great year last year. People wonder why we don't do all the spring training games. <laughs> the professionalism of every pitch in every inning. Little did they know, this 19-year-old player over the next two years would become a minor league MVP, the number two prospect in all of baseball, a Cardinals starter, a postseason hero, and one of the most promising young players in the league. Unfortunately, he never fulfilled that promise. This is the tragic story of minor league guy, Oscar Tavares. Tavares grew up in Sosua, Dominican Republic, where he excelled at baseball at a young age, earning the nickname El Phenomeno. He signed with the Cardinals as an international amateur at the age of 16 with a $145,000 signing bonus. From 2009 to 2011, he moved up through the Cardinals minor league system from rookie ball all the way to single A, where he had his first breakout offensive season hitting 386 for the Quad City River Bandits. This breakout year got him tagged as the number 74 ranked prospect according to Baseball America and the number 23 prospect according to Baseball Prospectus entering the 2012 season. Even with this success, he still got labeled minor league guy during that spring training game. After his 2012 season, they wouldn't make that mistake again. Tavares took double A by storm, posting his best professional season to date as a 20 year old. Playing for the Springfield Cardinals, he hit 23 home runs, batted 321, played in the All-Star Futures game, was a Texas League All-Star, and was named the Texas League Player of the Year. Within the Cardinals organization, he was also awarded the Cardinals Minor League Player of the Year. His prospect stock absolutely took off with him entering 2013 as the number two overall prospect according to Baseball Prospectus. Unfortunately, in AAA, he suffered a high ankle sprain sliding into second base, which required surgery and limited him to only 47 games on the season. He remained productive enough when he did play to still be the number three overall prospect entering the 2014 season, a season where he expected to finally get called up to the majors. Tavares was called up to the Cardinals May 30, 2014 and started in his first game the next day. In his second at bat, this happened. The 1-0. Hit hard, deep to right, it's a long run, and it is gone! Home run, Oscar Tavares! one nothing Cardinals! How about that for a debut? He became the first Cardinal to homer in his MLB debut since Eddie Morgan in 1936. After that successful debut, his bat cooled down hitting just 189 until he was optioned back to the minors on June 19th. He was called back up to the majors just 10 days later and saw infrequent playing time until the Cardinals traded struggling outfielder Alan Craig to the Red Sox, giving Tavares an everyday spot in the lineup. While he showed some promise, he continued to struggle and the last month of the season had his role diminished to pinch hitter with the occasional start. He finished the season with a 239 batting average and only three home runs in 80 games. The Cardinals made the playoffs and faced off against the Dodgers in a five-game series. 
Tavares maintained his pinch hitter role. In game two with the Cardinals down 3-2 in the seventh inning, Tavares came to the plate. Here's the 2-1. That's hit in the end of the Tavares off the bench, and it's tied. The Cardinals went on to win game two. The only game they won in the series as the Dodgers advanced with a 3-1 series win. Although Tavares had some struggles in the season, his prospect stock remained high and it looked like he would enter the 2015 season as a staple in the Cardinals' offense. News out of the Dominican Republic tonight. Oscar Tavares, the Cardinals' great outfield prospect, has been killed in an automobile accident. His agent, Brian Mejia, confirming the news to MLB.com. Cardinals general manager John Mozalek has expressed condolences to the family, but the team has not yet issued an official statement. Tavares was just 22 years old. On October 26, 2014, Tavares and his girlfriend Adelia Arvelo both died in a car accident on the Sosua Caborete Freeway in Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic. His red Chevrolet Camaro ran off the road and hit a tree. Toxicology reports indicated his blood alcohol content was 0.287, nearly six times the legal limit in the Dominican Republic. Observances on behalf of Arvelos and Tavares were held during Game 6 of the World Series, including a moment of silence before the first pitch. On October 26, the Cardinals left the right field lights on at Bush Stadium. More than an estimated 5,000 people gathered for Tavares' funeral in Sosua. Teammate Carlos Martinez changed his uniform number from 44 to 18, Tavares' number, to honor him. In January 2015, the Cardinals announced plans to renovate a baseball field in Sosua in Tavares' honor. The team would also wear black circular patches inscribed with OT, Tavares' initials, inside a white circle on their jerseys for that season. This was the second alcohol-related fatality to a Cardinals player in a decade, following that of Josh Hancock in 2007. Cardinals management declared that the team would take a greater role in educating young players to avoid reckless actions. Oscar Tavares was only 22 years old. 